Welcome to Still Plays. This is a lowish viable teams on fleet using a five star malevolence or negotiator to counter a seven star negotiator or malevolence. Either of those ships counters the other one. I use these every day to climb up to first in fleet arena and I use them all the time in Grand Arena. If you are a free-to-play player, I strongly encourage you to unlock both of these ships at five stars before taking one of them up to seven stars. Well, let me break down my Negotiator fleet first. Now, with the Negotiator fleet, the ships that I use are Anakin, Fives, and Houndstooth to start. My Houndstooth is at gear 12, so I'm not going to show it. Here's my fives. He's at relic five. Anakin is at relic six. Ahsoka is at relic five, but I almost never call her up. Rex is never used. My Y-wing is maxed. My sergeant I don't use anymore, but you could use this instead of the Y-wing. Um, I used to use it at gear nine. I haven't used it since he brought him up to gear 11. That was a recent development. Plo Koon is important here, but you, as you can see, mine is only gear nine. But when you look here, it's the turn meter gain that is important. So even gear eight would probably be sufficient. And here is my negotiator, five stars right now. I'm waiting until after this video to take him to six. And I have a relic five General Kenobi. So we just broke down the starters that I use and the backups. Uh, some people use Ahsoka as a starter. I prefer to use Fives because Fives then can do an AOE uh, on target locked ships and can also dispel. I think Ahsoka tends to help more with mirrors. Fives I prefer in the, count, the Malevolence counter. Your reinforcements, Plo Koon is number one. That is extremely important. Then the Y-Wing or Sergeant, if that's what you're using. Ahsoka is the last one if you need her, but I never call her in. The kill order is a Hyena Bomber is the most important ship to take out as quickly as possible. Then go after Sunfac. Houndstooth you can usually keep at bay with uh, buff immunity. And then the other reinforcement ships I have here in gray, just because those are variable depending on your opponent. I usually see the Falcon. Vulture droids tend to take care of themselves with the AOE attacks, so that is the least important. Before we jump into the footage, I want to just quickly talk through these points so that we don't lose them as the footage plays. The first couple moves uh, is a basic from Houndstooth. I put that on Hyena Bomber to land the debuffs, and then I try to spread debuffs around because the first move from the Malevolence is to cleanse one of the ships. Then I put a the Houndstooth taunt onto Sunfac and the buff immunity from Anakin onto Sunfac as well because I don't want to stop the taunt from the Hyena Bomber. The first attack from the Negotiator is Mobilize. I want all of those assists landing onto the Hyena Bomber and I want as many target locks to land as possible. If I got multiple target locks, I am using Five's attack or if the target locks land on ships other than the Hyena Bomber because really what I want to make sure is when I'm attacking I'm hitting multiple ships. If nothing is gonna happen from that fives AOE, I'm holding off and waiting it until it benefits me. First reinforcement then is going to be Plo Koon. You want to dispel all of the buzz droids that have accumulated onto Houndstooth by calling in Plo and then getting another turn with all of your ships by using the inspiring charge turn meter gain from Plo. After that, you probably have locked it up. Sometimes Houndstooth may have been lost. Then I'm going to do a self-taunt on the Plo Koon. He will, you'll probably lose him, but really it doesn't matter after that point. Uh, and then you can call in the Y-Wing. Sometimes you'll have an opportunity to use the Y-Wing Bomb Run 
from the, the negotiator before calling in your second reinforcement. I usually opt to do that if that's an option. Otherwise, I will just call in the, the Y wing. So we're going to jump into the footage now. So I'm going to choose HROM's fleet here. First, I'm showing where his relic levels are. He's got a relic seven. Everybody has a relic seven malevolence at this point, but he has a relic five Sunfac. I'm switching out my fleet real quick and then I'm going to show where my levels were. Actually, at this point, everything had the same relic level. So we're going to skip ahead here. So I target Hyena Bomber, then I'm targeting Sunfac with Houndstooth, and then with Anakin's AoE, and landing the buff immunity. So they're using all the buzz droids on Houndstooth, I'm using Mobilize, target Hyena Bomber. Now using the AoE doing damage to both ships, focusing down on the Hyena Bomber. And now I target Sunfac so I don't dispel the taunt from Hyena Bomber because he has target lock. Call and plow, use Inspiring Charge. I cleansed Houndstooth with that. And now I'm staying focused. Again, choosing Sunfac. They call in their first reinforcement. It's Houndstooth this time. And now with Plo Koon's turn, I'm cleansing the Houndstooth. I don't want to lose him. The buzz droids will make it so I lose him. Target again Sunfac because target lock was on the Hyena Bomber. Now I go for Houndstooth because I want to land the buff immunity over there. Target Sunfac because I, I can't uh, target the Hyena Bomber. And here's that moment where sometimes I'm able to use the Y the Y wing bomber run, but I call him the Y wing because that wasn't an option. Just a basic onto the hyena bomber because there's no target locks. Because of the Y wing, there's reinforcement of it, or retribution on the field, and all the ships countered. And now I'm using Mobilize. I save Mobilize for Houndstooth. If a different reinforcement was called in, I would have done the Y-Wing Bomber Run. And that's the end of that counter. That's very consistent for me. So next up is the Malevolence. This one is less consistent. I say I have more like an 85% to 90% win rate with the malevolence now that my opponents have geared up their negotiators a little bit more it's still fairly reliant but i usually am looking to target the weaker negotiators during my climbs because the malevolence is more variable i'm going to show two battles with the malevolence one where things go the way that i expect them to and they usually do and one where things go wrong both of them are wins before we jump into the footage and the breakdown, here are my separatist ships. The only relic is here on the Malevolence. This is important, you can't get away with a lower relic Grievous like you could with a lower relic Kenobi and I, that I did in the negotiator battle. But I only have gear 12 on the Geonosian pilots. The everything, though, is maxed out with all the abilities. I'm not going to run through those. Now for the final reinforcement, I usually don't call it, so it doesn't matter. But what I do see a lot of people using is the Falcon to put Foresight onto everyone. Or you could look at using Soldier or the Droid for your final slot. It's not really that important. It won't get called in. So diving into the breakdown, the starters, Houndstooth, Hyena, Vulture. If you're doing this in Grand Arena, you would just substitute Sunfac for the, for the Houndstooth. That being if you have left the Houndstooth with a Negotiator. If you're making that choice, Houndstooth to the Negotiator. Sunfac is fine in the starter, be better with Relics, but is perfectly sufficient here without. 
then your reinforcements. I almost call, always call Sunfac as my first reinforcement. You just want his extra tankiness. Um, in case you start losing ships, you will probably lose the Hyena Bomber or the Houndstooth at some point. Or even if you don't, with that open slot, I usually call in Sunfac because you will likely lose one or two of your ships during the bomb run. But I do use Spy as my first called in reinforcement in the second footage because of the situation that comes up there. So again, this counter has more RNG. Turn order varies a lot on your opponent's gear. You want to use the Vulture Droid special on Anakin. That's important, it doesn't always happen. So in the event that Vulture Droid goes first, that is good target Anakin. You want those buzz droids there. Negotiator is going to go use the mobilize. What you want to do, and this is important, is if a daze has landed on the vulture droid, cleanse the vulture droid because you want him to assist when on the hyena bomber's turn. So we're going to now jump into the footage. I think it's a little bit more important that we talk through the footage because of how variable it can be. So here is the footage with the negotiator. I'm choosing Koran here. Checking out what the relic levels on the pilots are. So that's relic seven on both Anakin and Kenobi. Relic six on fives and a relic three houndstooth. Swapping out my ship. We're gonna skip ahead here to the footage. See, I used the Falcon as my reinforcement. So Vulture Droid is hit, I'm targeting Anakin. I'm taunting, even though it's going to get cleansed, but it's able to soak up the buff immunity from Anakin. Now Mobilize occurs. I'm cleansing the Vulture Droid. I don't want the days there because on Hyena's turn, I want to target Anakin and do as much damage as possible. So the Buzz Droid did some damage on Anakin. Now Sergeant comes in. These days it would probably be the Y-Wing, but it would still be the same. The Buzz Droids take out Anakin before the Hyena Bomber has to even go. Sometimes I would take the Hyena Bomber and finish off Anakin, or the AOE here would finish off Anakin. I go for fives. I usually go for whoever isn't uh, who isn't behind Taunt because I can just rely on the Vulture Droids to take out whoever has Taunt. With this scenario, I want the basic on Houndstooth to stun. Now I can keep focused on Sergeant or if it were Y-Wing. Because he is stunned, I'm going to put the Buzz Droids on him. Otherwise, he would cleanse with the basic. Since there isn't a taunt, I'm just peppering away at Ahsoka. I'm deciding now what I want to do because of the turn meter on the Malevolence. I'm going to call in Sunfac because I always want to have at least two ships on the field in case anything goes wrong. So cleanses, I will stun. Because everyone has days, even if there was a buzz droid available, I wouldn't use one. And now I'm gonna use a basic because there's no other real choice. Now I've lost a bunch of ships. Use the ion cannon, everything will get dispelled, protection will be gone, and turn meter will be removed. Now here I think I misplay, I should land that 
uh, taunt that debuff onto Plo. I'm also focusing here on Houndstooth. I could have focused on Ahsoka. I use a basic because I knew he was about to do Retribution. footage and that's the first battle here is the second battle with the Ahsoka variant this one things go wrong but I still pull it off so Ahsoka goes first then there's the AoE I lose the vulture droid and I can't target who I want or land buzz droids on anyone early. I use the AoE from the Malevolence first because I want to land the debuff onto Ahsoka because I know she's going to do a retribution anyway because Hyena Bomber is going to put buzz, dro buzz droids on. So I'm just going to get the all the debuffs done all at once let the retribution happen because also the negotiator is going to call out the first reinforcement and then I can focus on that ship that won't have re uh, any debuffs. So Sergeant comes out focus down on him when Hyena Bomber goes I'm going to hit Anakin. Staying on Sergeant. Plo Koon cleanses, which I did not want. That was unfortunate because now I can take out Anakin when I wanted. I have to stay focused on Sergeant. Anakin's doing a lot of damage. I lose Houndstooth. That's when things start getting scary. All the Vulture Droids are looking weak. And now I'm down to two. Now here is a critical moment. Do I call in Sunfac or Spy? Normally I do Sunfac. I go for Spy because this scenario I'm going to probably lose. Otherwise I'm hoping for the right RNG where the taunt is going to land on to Anakin. I do get it. I'm able to finish off Anakin. I lose the Vulture Droid right after. But now I'm able to start calling the ships. I did that because I didn't want uh, a debuff to land on Ahsoka and for her to call in, uh, call up retribution on everyone. Just using my basics, waiting for the ion cannon to occur. Just do a little hit there. And now I'm focusing down on the Houndstooth. Calling the second ship, I need to make sure I have two ships on the field at all times. Now I can focus on the other ships. Do the mass assist. Final reinforcement gets called in. Could have probably stunned fives there and not Rex. Now I do the AoE. Don't have to worry about the retribution. And now I just start working on fives. Cleanse the days here. Normally I look at cleansing the strongest of the vulture droids. It probably should have been what I did there. Running low on time, but then I'm able to just focus down on Rex. So a lot scarier, but still able to pull it off. 
These days, usually Y-wing would be called in. In this case, these particular opponents that I recorded the footage on didn't use the Y-wing, but it tends to not make be the difference maker. That's going to wrap up this video. Please like and subscribe. It really does help me out and keep me motivated. There's been a lot of growth in the channel in these past several weeks. Uh, I th Throughout September, I've really been pushing out a lot more content and has really helped keep me motivated to see all of the feedback and all of the increase in views and uh, increased subscriptions over the course of the past month. I've got a lot more ideas that I'm going to be putting out so please stay tuned for that. I'm going to be trying to keep that diversified over things for early game players, mid game players, and players in the late game like me around 5.5 to 6 million GP. Wales, I think they have, a, there's a lot of YouTubers covering content for them. I really wanna try and focus this channel on the free to play player and how to help those players out and help them excel in this game against players who spend. So be safe out there everyone, and as always, be excellent to each other.